Hello, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Bone MIDI Translator Pro as a merging type of a function. In other words, uh, you can merge uh, the outputs from multiple input MIDI sources. So first of all, I've opened a project. It's blank at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and open the project properties. And first of all, I need to define my ports that I want to use. So I go to the project default MIDI ports section and I am going to merge uh, input from uh, let's say three devices here. My MIDI fighter twister, my uh, easy control, and I'll take my launch control. So these are all three devices that I have on my desktop and I want to put them to a single uh, output device. In this case I'll use Bohm MIDI translator virtual one out. So now that I have my ports open, uh, I can go to the router section and here's my three inputs that I want and I want them all to go to Bohm uh, virtual uh, port one. Um, some of these are just aliases for the others so it doesn't really matter whether I go here or go down here. Uh, I'm going to go down here with all three of them and I just simply draw lines to them. So what this is going to do again is I pr press launch control button, a MIDI fighter twister button, or a, a world easy control button. It's all going to go out to this virtual port. And I'll show that in action by turning on the log function and I'm going to select MIDI in and MIDI out only. Uh, now I'm going to hit a uh, button on my uh, MIDI fighter twister. And you see that it's going to virtual out translator one. I'll do the same thing on my world E controller. And it goes to virtual port one out and also my launch control. So now anything that comes through any of these three devices is going to go out to this particular device and it wouldn't have to only be that device if I wanted to define other devices I wanted to send it to I could just as easily add other output devices as long as I've defined them in the uh, uh, output port section and I can send it out to in this case let me clear this and you can see it's going out to both loop port MIDI and virtual translator. So this is a, a three to two mapping uh, with only world easy going to two and the others going to just a single one. So really that's it. Again, you can see there's no programming required for this type of functionality. However, if you want to override some of the routing that's defined in the default routing section here, you can do so by adding a translator and uh, setting it up to redirect it to the port of your choice uh, or whatever else uh, that a, a translator can be set up to do. It's quite flexible. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or uh, concerns or anything, feel free to reach out to us at www.bohm.com. Thank you. Thank you.